Right now, the Wear Orange campaign is pushing for a future without gun violence. That movement sparked by the murder of Hadia Pendleton, the Chicago teen who was killed after being caught in the crossfire of a gang shooting 10 years ago. CBS 2 Sarah Maki is in the newsroom with what's being done to keep the anti-gun violence message relevant. Sarah. Yeah, Dana, they say that 10 years have passed and nothing has changed, pointing to the violence one week ago during Memorial Day weekend. 53 people were shot and 11 of those victims died. That has now put a renewed interest for those who came out today, saying that this will not stop them from trying. All the staples of a summer celebration, music, food, and balloons. But this is a birthday party for Hedia Pendleton, who should now be 26, but never made it to 16. I'm looking at her friends. Her friends uh, grew up, some of them has had babies, uh, and I'm still thinking that this is my little baby. But she's, she would have been 26. Hadia's dad says 8,000 people came out for the Saturday event, which is about creating a safe space for people of all ages in a park that now has her name on the front entrance, asking people to put down their guns since Hadia was killed in a case of mistaken identity just days after she marched in then-President Barack Obama's second inauguration parade 10 years ago. Partygoers wear orange, Hadia's favorite color, now a symbol of the anti-gun movement started in her name. Maybe we can do something about it because clearly with as many people out here as we're in orange, we do have a problem and it does have to be addressed. But the violence does continue. All of a sudden I heard about three or four shots. Gretchen Bailey was just across the street, separated by an open field from the spot where a 65-year-old man was shot inside his own Chatham home on South Calumet Avenue this afternoon. His family says the man is a mechanic who would help out his neighbors and was shot through the stomach while underneath the car. Broken glass still hanging from the door frame. His work shirt he was wearing stripped off before he was taken to the hospital. It's a real concern to me and I really think that there's some work that needs to be done to end this violence and this um, shooting that's going on. No arrests have been made in that Chatham shooting. Hadia Pendleton's dad says he is frustrated by the lack of progress over the last 10 years, but says they are committed to the cause and will continue to mark Hadia's birthday every year. He would even like to expand this event if it means more people will stay safe. In the newsroom, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. Sarah, thank you.